Hi, my name is Heng Luo. I am a researcher at the National Center for Toxicological Research, NCTR. NCTR is the primary research center for the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. You can find us on the web at www.fda.gov backslash NCTR. Today, I'm going to talk about a review paper titled Machine Learning Method for Predicting HRA Peptide Binding Activity. This paper is published in the Bioinformatics and Biology Insights. The major histocompatibility complex helps regulate the immune system, and in humans, is called the human leukocyte antigens, or HRAs. They have important functions, such as presenting peptides to T cells to initiate Im immunological recognition or provoke re responses to fight infections. Interpreting and predicting the binding of peptides to the HRA system are essential to study T cell epitopes, immune reactions such as autoimmune diseases, and the mechanisms underlying some adverse drug reactions. To formulate methods to predict the binding between an HRA molecule and a peptide, the peptide is converted to a group of numbers, also known as descriptors. There are three popular types of descriptors, sparse encoding, blossom matrix, and physical chemical properties. After this conversion, the descriptors are sent to the machine learning model for prediction. The widely used models include artificial neural network, decision tree, hidden Markov model, regression, support vector machine, and consensus method. The model can either make a qualitative prediction, which predicts binding or non-binding, or a quantitative prediction, which predicts how strong the binding is. In our paper, we reviewed different types of machine learning methods and tools that have been used for HRA peptide binding prediction. For these methods, we summarize the descriptors upon which are based how they have been constructed, and discuss the limitations and challenges of the current methods. At last, we gave a future perspective on the HRA paper binding prediction method based on network analysis. I would like to thank the corresponding authors Dr. Donna Mandrick and Dr. Hui Xiao Hong and all other co-authors for their help and support. We hope this paper can help you better understand the machine learning methods to predict HRA peptide binding activity. From the FDA National Center for Toxicological Research, I am Heng Luo, and I thank you for watching this video.